Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn UiPath Arc button and its properties involved. There are multiple properties on the UiPath App Studio for a button. So let's see how all of these properties work and how to utilize them on a practical project. So let's get started without any further delay. The very first thing Let's learn how to get this button. Let me delete this. So it's a blank page or a blank canvas. I'm going to click on this plus sign. Go to input and then there is a button. So drag and drop this button to a blank page. Now the moment you do this, there are multiple properties which appears. Let me show you the moment you have dragged and dropped a button. And if you click on preview, what happens? You can see the button has appeared on the corner. Now there are multiple properties associated with the button. So let's see how this can be utilized. The very first thing, what if I would like to change the name of the button? For this, there's a text property. Let's say I, I want to make it to submit. So this is how we will change it. Now there is something called tooltip. So here let me type something. Let's say here is the button to submit so there could be a proper message can be written but here my objective is to show you how this is this works okay so here i have given a tooltip so what happens when i use a tooltip and ensure if you see i am by mistake i have written the tooltip for the page okay so ensure you are selecting the button and then you should write it okay this could happen to anyone so ensure you are selecting the button there's a red highlight and then you are writing it so you know it is written for the button now let's hit on a preview so how the tooltip works you can see the submit has come if you keep your mouse on a button for some time it gives you a white color banner here is the button to submit so that is the tooltip if somebody keeps the mouse on the button for some time for few seconds okay so you understood how the tooltip works now there is something called icon now this icon look at this symbol hand symbol if you click on it it goes away and there is nothing comes out of as icon so what you should do this particular icon property should be remained in this way this hand symbol should be shown and then you should click on the icon and let's say I would like to select some icon. Let's say I would like to select this icon. Now, if you see, this icon has come in the button, which looks quite great. Now, there is something called display. Now, display, there are two things, hidden and disabled. So, what happens when you make it true? And this has to be written in lower letter true. Hidden means what would happen if I click on preview, it will be not shown in the preview. The button will be completely gone. You can see it will be a blank page. So you can see it has completed, but again, there is it's a completely a blank page. The button is not appearing. So let me make it to false, hidden, false. Now, what is disabled? What is the difference between these two? If I make it true and then click on preview, the button is there but again it is disabled i cannot click on it okay it's grayed out so for that this property has to be used so let me again put it back to false okay now let's move on to the i will get on to the event before that let's get on to style now anytime you are designing it is very important to style it right so what are these buttons let me show you so here there are multiple different options. So this is your page. Now let's say I would like to keep it at the center. Let's say I would like to keep it at the right side. Let's say I would like to keep it at the, I want to stretch it. So these are the different options that you get. But again, but again, this style property will change if you are dragging and dropping this button inside a container. So container is like a frame, okay? So inside a frame you would like to add this. So let me show you. Click on this plus sign. And there is something called containers and there is something called container layout so let me drag and drop this container layout so this is kind of a frame 
in which I would like to keep it. So in a when you design a page, it becomes quite easy and convenient to design things inside a container rather than keeping it aside. So you can see I have kept the button inside the container. Now the moment you kept the button, this container, if you highlight the container, this also has something uh, called layout. Okay, This has a styling layout, vertical and horizontal. That means what would happen if I am going to, let me first click on this button and make it to normal. Okay, Let me keep it on the left hand side, let's say, or let me keep it on the right hand side. Now, if I click on this container, this container has got something called vertical and horizontal. So, what is the difference? If I click on the plus sign and drag and drop another button. So, the moment you drag and drop, it will automatically horizontally bring it down. Okay, you can see it has horizontally bring it, uh, sorry, vertically bringing it down because the container layout has something called vertical. So, if I put one more button, what is happening? It is by default bringing it in a horizontal way. Okay, horizontal way it's bringing in, and I can bring it to right, extreme right, or middle. Like that, I can adjust. Okay. Now, what would happen if I am going to change the container layout to horizontal? Now, if I do this, all the buttons now align horizontally. Now, I have the option to keep it. So, look at this top one. Look at this bottom one. How it works? So, here it says middle. So, if I keep it here middle then it is so middle and then i want to keep this one in the middle okay so what is how this one works for example uh, let me keep it here just to see this how it works let me first clear all of the buttons uh, let me put a new button here so what happened what happened look at the layout container layout here I am keeping at the center. Okay, so it is there in the center and center, middle in the middle. Let's say I am going to keep in the top. So the button has gone to the top, but again in the middle layer. Do you see? Okay, now you can understand, right? Now let's say I want to clip in the but but so it, it is coming here, but again still in the bottom one. Let's say I want to take it to the left. It will go to the left. Let's say I want to take it to the right. So these are the in a container. So you you if you want to, you know, you can make it large and bigger based on your requirement and use this uh, options to adjust uh, this button accordingly okay so you can see so i want to keep it in the center but again extreme right so this is how you will be using it okay and i want to keep it at the bottom okay stretched out so uh, as per your requirement you can keep it Generally, I think this would be the preferred one. Okay, and adjust the container as you need. So this is one thing. The couple of other things that is there is event. Okay, what is event? A button will be always be clicked. So the event is called clicked on. A button will always be clicked, right? So the event is called clicked on, and there are multiple different rules. And this rules I'm going to show you as we proceed further. Now on this example, let me open a page. So I'm going to click on open a page. Okay. And click here. And there are pages. Just click on add a page. And I'm going to add a dashboard and click on select. Okay. Now close this. Come here again. Look at the pages. So you can see the page has been added here. Let's go back one step back and come again so that it refreshes itself and you can see the page has come. So if I double click on this, so what would happen by adding this kind of an event when anyone clicks on this button, this is going to open up a page for him. So let me hit on preview. Let me hit on this button and you can see the page has appeared. Getting it? So, I think we have covered all the different properties uh, available here and and there are also a couple of other things, okay. For example, for the button, um, there is something called margin and size. So, how this margin and size works? So, by default, this is how it is kept, okay. So, there is a button here called link. Let's say I would like to put my own values. Here also you can apply, but again it will give you top, left, top, bottom, left, right. 
So here I can adjust the values. Let's say I want to make it to uh, 10 from the top. Okay, so this is my container and I'll go to the button, remove this and you can select how you want. Okay, so I want in percentage way, I will select 10 and then I'm going to select 10. Okay, it is working, right? Let's say I want to use all of these options. So let's say I want to say 20 here. So this is how you can use utilize and there is this unlink button Okay, unlink button means if you uh, it is only top bottom left right if I click on this it will give you all the four different dimensions. Now this is a size okay so uh, by default the size is auto but again you have your own option to select what you need. So percentage is 10 percent okay so you can see the size is changing. Uh, let's say 20. okay it is slightly not responding but again these are the different properties uh, how you can utilize just refresh your app in case this happens refresh your app and see if things are changing automatically let's say 20 okay all right so thank you for watching this guys uh, you know these are the couple of important properties for a button i hope you will enjoy them and you will be able to utilize in your project thank you for watching we are going to meet once again in the next content. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.